Um, right, let's let's uh, let's let's cheer us up ourselves up a bit and play guess the conspiracy. So, cats, we're in a bit of bother here because we were, I think, we were a nine-four up at one point, and it's now nine-seven to us. So the guests now, have, have clawed missed, it back. There's a link here. I have missed two episodes. I you have, <laughs> yeah. Um, so is, it, is, is, is there a link between me not being here and, and well, things not going so well on that front? I don't think or? so because you still gave over a, conspir- a fake conspiracy, didn't you? So that is that is yeah. also true. So, <laughs> this, Greg, this is the part of the show where Cats and I have come up with two uh, fabricated conspiracy theories, and we've lumped them in with one that is real, in that people believe in it. And your job, or the guest job, is to figure out which one is the real conspiracy theory, in that people believe it, not that it's a real thing. Gotcha. Um, so, as I said, it's nine seven to us. Um, uh, people, let's think, let's talk. Uh, Jim Al Khalili, he got it wrong. So if you if you get it right, you you bettered him. All right, okay. Uh, I mean, I I once had a dance off competition with Jim. Did you? Did you win? <laughs> yeah. In fact, it was the first time I met Jim. It was at a science <laughs> festival, and they were just taking a bunch of the speakers, and it was like, right, it's a dance competition. It was me and Jim in Dallas, uh, Dallas Campbell, um, and yeah, a few other people. That Amazing. Was a laugh. And it, did you beat him though? No, I think oh. Jim. No, oh, oh, maybe me and Jim got to the same sort of level, and then I okay. think um, I think the winner was was Yan from uh, Bangos of Theory. Uh, oh, okay. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Right here we go. Then here we go. So three conspiracies. Two of them have been completely fabricated by myself and cats, and one is a real one that people believe. Here we go. Number one: all Zoom and FaceTime calls are monitored by AI that deliberately messes with the signal if anti-science conversations are taking place. That's number one. Okay. Number two, all fish are grown in farms. The fishermen don't actually catch them. Fishermen are actually military who sail to the land beyond the ice wall. Right. That's number two. And number three, a piano was so named because the 88 keys on a piano divided by the 28 phalanges in your hands to play it is equal to almost pi. Hence, pi anno. <laughs> That's your three. <laughs> That's incredible. So what do you think? Okay, if one of you came up with that, you're a comedic genius um oh but the second one is a flat earth related one which would yep. suggest that <sighs> oh my goodness that's tricky right i don't think it's the first one okay um i might live to regret that but i don't think it's the first it's one. a tough game it's a tough game uh so therefore it's between two and three i think the piano is brilliant i think think you've made that one up so therefore i think it is the second one that is believed okay so so you think that the the fish aren't real aren't actually being caught they're made in farms and fishermen actually sail beyond the ice wall as military Mm, yes is that that your final answer oh yes yeah okay here we go oh we've done it cat well that was cats's one well done buddy well done so we've got it 10-7 um that was a really tough one actually because the real one was the piano one that is the real one um really yeah so it's a guy um it's a flat earther called marty Leeds, and he's like he's a numbers guy he loves numbers and stuff Mm -hmm. um and he did a video about how uh it was his belief that the 88 keys on a planet divided by the flanges to play it equals almost pi. I think it was like 3.19 or something or 3.2, which was why they called it a piano, piano. Um, so yeah, that was the real one. Anno meaning almost, clearly. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, unlucky, that was difficult. Uh, in, just because that was such a ridiculous one, that was difficult. But well done, cats. We've done it. 10-7. Good job. Oh, I'm, I'm over, you know, if I never accomplish anything else in the rest of my life... That is my. I, I've managed to convince Greg Foot that fishermen uh, yes. <laughs> sail. Yeah, that, or people believe that anyway. Amazing. That's, I'm, that's that's my week's work done, and it's only Monday. I'm still going around telling people that Chris Lintock called me a genius for coming up the one that caught him out. So you know, it's <laughs> it's it's fair. It's all fair. It just. I just think that because of the nature of what is believed in that world, I yeah. could see that that could be a thing. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't be much of an extension of one's kind of way of seeing the world. It wouldn't right to also believe that that's what i was going for mm-hmm. and i just thought the piano was just a very clever uh that one of you had gone hang on <laughs> piano's got pie in it uh i, I could do something with this yeah that's the pro- <laughs> the problem is though we used to do that we used to come up with really intricate conspiracy theories and people are like no that was that's been too worked out to be a real thing but nice one cass you got the red herring in there with the flat earth link on the on the fish one so well done we're 10 to up and-